Filling in the gap between episodes 4, A New Hope, and 5, The Empire Strikes Back, we are here discussing Marvel Comics' Star Wars Dr. Aphra, issue number 1. After she faked her death at the end of Marvel's Darth Vader, Dr. Aphra was rescued by Black Kersantan and her droids, allowing her to go on her way, resuming her former occupation, archaeology. The issue opens with a man who has retrieved an object, only to be chased by a mechanical beast barely escaping with his life. When he reaches the surface, he is met by blaster fire from Dr. Aphra, who steals the object from him. When Aphra returns to her ship, she is met by Suntoth, a representative of the Syndicate looking to get some money back that Aphra apparently owes them. He is accompanied by a couple of bodyguards from a species we saw in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. While Dr. Aphra is trying to sweet-talk her way out of it, Black Kersantan comes to the rescue, taking out the two bodyguards. She leaves Sutoth to go prepare her ship, as it will be several hours until they are ready. BT-1 and Triple Zero excuse themselves to go run some errands, but what they really had in mind was to poison Sutoth so that he can no longer come after Dr. Aphra. Aphra and gang head to Archeo Prime on the Cosmantic Steeps in hopes to sell the artifact that she just acquired. When she arrives, she finds that her doctoral accreditation has been removed, preventing her from actually selling the item for anything near what it's worth. While it is true that she cheated on her accreditation, who was it that ratted her out? Twas none other than her father. Before this issue closed, we were treated to a backstory on Dr. Aphra and her time in archaeology school. While the details of the events are largely inconsequential at this point, she did engage her contact, Sana Staros, into helping her fake a miraculous archaeology find that got her recognized. This story planted the seed for an exploration into Sana and Aphra's history together, a history we know exists given some dialogue from the adventures in Star Wars issues numbers 16 through 19. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Leave your comments and questions about this story or any element of the Star Wars canon below. Till next time, may the Force be with you.